Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Fontech of Rear, another video. And in this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6 on iOS 11.4 beta 3 to an iPhone 6 on iOS 10.3.3. So guys, a um, ton of people saying that iOS 11.4 beta 3 is actually faster, and fix a lot of bugs, issues and stuff. Let's see if that's true, guys. Stay tuned. Right, guys, so I'm gonna boot up both devices here. This is one on iOS 11.4 beta 3 and this is one on iOS 11.10.3.3, guys. So let's see which one was faster here this time. I mean, uh, 11.4 beta 3 feels feels smoother than the previous beta, so should be kind of decent when it comes to booting up. So let's see here. I'm hoping it will be faster, though uh, um, on other devices I felt like it's slower, still slower than iOS 10, sadly. Okay, so iOS 10 is faster. The difference is like one second barely, so it's okay. All right, guys, just gonna try the fingerprints here. I was actually faster than iPhone. 6 and iOS 10.3.3 guys, so let's just, just go for a test here. So first up, calendar was faster on iOS 10, going for camera, I think was faster on iOS 11, leaving was definitely faster on 11 as well, animation was faster, maps, seems, but the same, they both loaded maps slowly, clock, but the same guy going for weather, and the iOS 10 that wins, some animation lag there on iOS 11 though, going for news. Leaving, going for App Store. Going for phone. It was about the same guys, going for Safari. So it was faster on iOS 10. Let's load something here. And yeah, definitely faster on iOS 10, guys. Now, guys, for some third-party apps. So, uh, okay, before that, let's go for cal calculator here. Was slightly faster on iOS 10. Going for third-party apps now, guys. So onto the benchmark. So some hesitation there on iOS 10 before launching the app, but it actually loaded faster than iOS 11. Going for Geekbench 4. Okay, about the same, iOS 10 was faster, going for YouTube. It seems like, all right, so iOS 10 was faster, going for Subway Surfers. Loading bar appeared first on iOS 11, guys. Wow, so iOS 11.4 beta 3 actually win Subway Surfers. Good stuff there, first first victory here for the iPhone, for this iPhone here, this guy, Tempuran 2. Again, some hesitation there on iOS 10. Though at the end it actually is faster. Wow, so actually iOS, iOS 11 that actually load temper on faster here, slightly, but that's something. Now guys going for Google Earth. Okay, no bad at all on iOS 11 guys, going for Instagram. And loading my page. Okay, so it was definitely faster on iOS 10 guys. But though iOS 11 and 10 are actually not that bad, guys, okay, uh, definitely they're slower than other devices on the iPhones, but uh, I mean, iOS 11, I mean, at this point, doesn't really slow it much. Though battery is the, the main issue here. Now, Facebook, guys. Okay, both are fairly slow. Okay, iOS 10 is faster. Going for Mario Run. Okay, so seems like iOS 10 is faster. Okay, definitely. Leaving, wait for this guy here. Now guys, for the part where um, iOS 10 uh, outshines iOS 11 when it comes to uh, one gig devices. RAM management, of course, guys, multitasking. So let's load calendar. Okay, bad start for iOS 11. 
camera, maps. Okay, both have to refresh maps. The reloading was faster on iOS 10. Clock, weather, news, app store, phone dialer, Safari, calculator, enter the benchmark, Geekbench 4, YouTube, Subway Surfers, Temperan 2, Google Earth, Instagram, Facebook, and Mario Run. So guys, definitely iOS 10 with one gigabyte of RAM is way better than iOS 11, guys. I mean, it's decent to be honest, but with iOS 11, you can't really multitask, sadly, on iPhone 6 or 5S. Right now, guys, for a Geekbench 4 test. Right, guys, so here are the scores. So uh, iOS 10.3.3, the score higher, guys. And um, but though the scores are random, they're about the same guys, the difference is minimal as always. So nothing big here guys, just, just show you history here. So um, going for the previous one. So the score did lower a bit, but then just like by 10 or something, that's the current score. So the difference isn't big guys, just random, just uh, 10 higher or lower, doesn't really matter guys there. Now guys, finally for the final test here, to the benchmark. Just before the test, guys, both phones are at 44%. And I want to say that uh, iOS, I started the test with a lower battery here than here, like 10% difference, and now they're the same, guys. So let's just test again here and see what will happen later. All right, guys, you have the scores. So iOS 11.4, beta 3, the really score lower. Um, CPU was about the same. RAM was higher here slightly, though. I mean, yeah, CPU was higher as well here. UX and GPU, so UX, the big difference there, guys. You can see the scores here. As well as GPU, slightly, yeah, it was a big difference as well. So guys, that shows that uh, basically, yeah, both, uh, like iOS 10 is actually better in everything here. All right, guys, so that was the comparison between the iPhone 6 and 11.4.3, beta 3, guys. I mean, 0.4 beta 3, of course, and 10.3.3, guys. I want to say that uh, multitasking was really terrible on the one on iOS 11, and uh, battery life in general, iOS 11 lost more battery, though, and I took the benchmark test, iPhone 6 on iOS 10.3.3 lost more battery. That's the first time I'm seeing such a thing. It's good, but in general, uh, iOS 10 is still faster, perfect in multitasking. I mean, it keeps like 50-60% of the apps. iOS 11 can, bear, can barely keep two or three apps and without refreshing them. That's sad. So, hope you guys like the video. Um, subscribe for more content and peace out.